Today we're going to talk about the Enforcer app for iOS devices. The combination of the Enforcer and the app allows you to remotely monitor static forces in the system as well as capture dynamic events at 500 samples per second. Additionally, you can save the results in a graph form and attach them to an email or upload them to the cloud via iCloud, Dropbox, or Google Drive. Once you have your system rigged with the Enforcer inline and capturing data, you'll want to sync the Enforcer with the app. To do so, just activate the app on your phone and ensure the Bluetooth is turned on. Then you activate the Bluetooth on the Enforcer by holding the sample button for two seconds. The devices will connect automatically. They have an effective range of approximately 10 meters. Once the devices are synced, you'll see a live feed of the data from the Enforcer on the live graph of the app. There are two modes for the Enforcer, slow mode, which captures two samples per second and is useful for recording static forces in the system, and fast mode, which records 500 samples per second and is useful for recording dynamic events. The force display and temperature display of the Enforcer can be calibrated from the app. To calibrate the force display, simply click Calibrate Zero. Using an external data source, you can set a new temperature, click Done, and click Calibrate Temperature. There are two display screens in the app, a live screen showing continuous data coming from the Enforcer, and a graph screen which shows the recorded data. This graph can be uploaded via email attachment or can be opened with various applications for analysis. In order to record, you must be in fast sampling mode. There are two methods of recording. You can manually record pushing the red record button or automatically record using the trigger value set in the settings page. This will record four seconds of data, one second before the trigger value is reached and three seconds after the trigger value is reached. To set a specific value for the trigger, Tap in the box, enter the number, and click Done. Both the Enforcer and the app can display the forces in the system in three different units, kilonewtons, pounds force, or kilograms force. The displays are set independently on the Enforcer using the Force button and on the app by going to the Settings page and choosing a different force for display. The data captured by the app can be analyzed and used in debriefings or team trainings to improve your team members' understanding of forces in the system. This can lead to better and more efficient setups with better control of forces. The enforcer can also be used live in systems where control of the forces in the anchors is more critical, such as in high lines and guiding lines. In summary, the combination of the enforcer and the app can lead to better, safer, and more efficient rescue evolutions for your team.